Hi, podcast listeners. This is Annabelle, the founding and managing partner of the Paris-based and uh, London-based law firm Crefovi, which focuses on advising the creative industries. So at the moment, since the 1st of January 2021, we noticed that there's quite a lot of chaos um, in order to seamlessly do business between France and the United Kingdom because a lot of um, uh, processes and systems which were in place before Brexit are now uh, questioned and or um, stopped, changed, amended. So for example, yesterday I spent 20 minutes calling the French tax authorities in various departments in order to clarify whether um, I should send invoices to my UK-based clients without v VAT for legal services. And um, that is further to checking on the web, um, on the internet, a lot of articles on the subject and I just couldn't find my answer. So I actually had to call the French tax authorities to clarify that yes, indeed, um, you should not uh, tax the uh, invoice, the 20% VAT to a UK business anymore because now it is a, 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 a third party state, i.e. outside the European Union. Some other issues are, for example, for EU citizens like myself who live in the United Kingdom and may think the situation as a, a merely a settled citizen or a permanent resident is too weak, too risky um, and therefore they have to now take the life in the UK uh, uh, test as well as the language, uh, knowledge of English language test um, and then apply to, to get a British citizenship and therefore a uh, UK v uh, passport. So there are lots of changes coming due to Brexit. I won't go into the political arguments, which is that Brexit was completely useless um, and uh, just a, uh, a, uh, a knee-jerk reaction of um, uh, UK nationalist. I won't go into that because that's not helpful, that's not constructive. But my piece of advice for the creative industries is to, you know, um, take it in stride and um, go one step at a time and double check with the authorities, uh, be it the tax authorities, as I mentioned, or the customs authorities, um, or, you know, your, uh, your accountant, etc. Just check all these points in terms of um, invoicing your clients, uh, sending goods from the UK to Europe, in particular France, or vice versa, sending uh, merchandises, products from uh, France to the United Kingdom. And um, yeah, and um, uh, uh, taking it one step at a time, um, uh, calmly, because everybody's facing the same situation anyway. And also be careful Although, of course, it is eroding your margins to have to do all this work and potentially there are some more costs now due to the red tape imposed by all these, uh, these changes, these additional forms, the, um, the costs are going up. So this is eroding your margin, but also being very mindful of not increasing your prices too uh, steeply. For example, I um, recently came back to London, to the UK, and my local Tesco, the prices at my local Tesco have gone up probably 30 to 40 percent um, since since last year. So this is due not only to COVID-19, where um, ma major supermarkets like Tesco uh, pretended that their uh, logistic and supply chains were uh, disrupted, therefore they increased their prices, but it is also due uh, to Brexit. Now things are more expensive, uh, uh, primary goods are uh, more expensive to come in the UK. So now my reaction as a customer is I am not prepared to pay 30 or 40 percent more than what I used to pay before, therefore I'm going to find an alternative to Tesco. And as a creative industries company or a, prof a professional uh, who provides 
goods um, to the um, to the uh, members of the public to consumers i think you really have to be mindful that the competition is very uh, strong out there especially in this uh, uh incredible increasingly online world uh, where we live and um, uh, therefore you you can definitely uh, you know shop online uh, to find a better deal so I repeat my piece of advice to the creative industries uh, who do business between uh, France and the UK at this point in time is take it uh, uh, um, one step at a time and double check everything with the appropriate and relevant authorities in terms of tax consequences to Brexit, customs consequences to Brexit, logistic consequences, contract consequences, IP related um, consequences, just call the appropriate organizations, being the UK IPO, the HMRC, the um, uh, uh, customs uh, and exile um, in the UK, or the equivalent of these organizations in France. Number two, um, be mindful of uh, the fact that if you increase your prices too steeply because of your eroding margins due to all the additional red tape and uh, and um, uh, increase of cost due to Brexit and to a degree also to uh, COVID-19, be mindful that if you increase your prices too steeply, you may lose uh, some um, um, uh, market share and clients because they will shop elsewhere because now they have the, the, the uh, ability to actually um, shop online and um, uh, they have, there is a broader market out there to, thanks to the internet so uh, consumers will go where you know they get the best deal the best deal so be mindful of, of all these points and um, best of luck for this um, uh, new year 2021 which starts on a high note i think uh, everybody will uh, uh, agree that um, uh, uh, there's, there's a loss of uh, energy going on and uh, um, a need and desire for change and more fluidity and uh, seamless business uh, despite the despite brexit and um, yeah best of luck for the face uh, new year 2021 may it be fruitful constructive and fun to you all bye for now